What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for February 29th, 2024, and yes, today is the last day of the month, but we have some new events. Now, I have good news and I have bad news. Good news is Soul Awakening Gala returns, bad news is we still don't have a Soul Awakening session, and the Soul Awakening session portion is the important part that can, you can get like those B-plus stones, so as far as free-to-play goes, you're probably skipping this. There's also a Starlight Melody event, and once again, I hate when this event lines up with, with Wishing Coins and not with Profit Orb, because this event becomes very hard to get some really good rewards, and there's even a higher tier in this one as well. There's also the, uh, oh man, I don't even remember the name of what it's called, the, <laughs> the Moonlight Gift, I think it is. Yeah, the Moonlight Gift is also a thing too, where there's even a higher package this time, so... We'll break down this event to see if it's even possible for free to play, but let's go ahead, let's jump into it, and let's talk about the events that we have this week, because at least it's better than the boring week we just experienced. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, let's get into it. <laughs> Right, we have a new update right here, and it looks like it is promising. It's better than this week's event, to say the least. Daily rewards are going to be 15 of those Mithril pickaxes and one Super Wishing Coin. Uh, so yes, we do have the Sky Labyrinth event. Usually you only get up to like 60-ish, somewhere right there. An important thing to note is the number of pickaxes you use this week is going to be very important for the loot system. So keep that in mind. Sadly, you can't save any up. It's not like the uh, the Aurora Stars and Honey Stars or Fantasy Factory. Sky Labyrinth is a little different. Uh, it might be good, probably not great, uh, because we also have a Wishing Fountain event. Now, 300 points per loop is 240 Wishing Coins. You can do this a maximum of nine times for roughly 2,160, I believe so. That is an important number to keep in mind for the point system coming later. But again, man, you need a good wishing coin event. I don't know if this one's going to be it until we get to do the breakdown. And then there's also the mysterious chest event. Now, we've kind of passed most of the big events for this part of the year. We've already gone through like Black Friday, uh, Christmas, New Year, Chinese New Year. We went through all of these events. We do, of course, we'll, I mean, we will have... Easter coming up at the end of next month, and uh, we might need some gems for that, but going for these gem chests might not be the worst thing. Of course, the 500 and 1500 are just good deals for the profit orbs and the heroic scrolls. The 8000 is good, especially on newer accounts that still need guild coins and stuff. Uh, later accounts, you can probably stop buying this eventually if you don't need the hero copies, the relics, or the guild coins. Now, there is a Soul Awakening Gala, and it is the super juiced up one that goes all the way up to 600 points. There's not a ton of extra rewards for going that far. Like, there's some. Uh, you're getting, of course, those Aurora Gems or the Scattered Spirit Vein. But again, uh, going for 600 points is more just like big spender territory. Because even myself on my account, I went for it the first time. 600 points is a ton of soul awakening so if you guys remember getting to like 150 that's not bad that's like in the the 25 ish soul awakening range getting to 300 is the main goal for most free to play players but again that takes closer to like in the 50 ish range and going to 600 is insanity sometimes like it takes a long time just to even do the soul awakenings if you saved up, sure, but again, I'm going to highly recommend that anybody that is a free-to-play player probably needs to skip the Soul Awakening Gala and continue to wait for the next Soul Awakening session. Uh, the Galas without the sessions attached, again, of course, the big pull for Galas and stuff are getting those B-plus Soul Awakening Crystals, and sadly, this one does not have the session attached, so beware probably do not go in on this here there is a soul contract sadly it's the light and dark one which is a little harder because a lot of times especially on early game accounts you want to save up your light and dark food for your first e5 heroes in each faction 
But if you are past that point, you cannot use puppets, but six star heroes will get you 300 contract starry gems. Now there is a very big starlight melody in this one. Typically in the past, we've only gone to 1000 points. Now there is a 2000 point chest and it looks like it has, my guess is maybe the festival 2024 chest. It doesn't actually specifically say what that chest includes. Oh no, actually hold on. In the in the WeChat translation it says after opening the collection of treasure selection box, you can choose any of the treasures excluding holiday. So this is a normal chest right here. This is essentially the chest you would get from regular treasure train uh getting to like 150 points. I mean, that's not bad because you can get hero token ones out of that, all those specialties. Um it's interesting. So it does say in this event, you can get a total of 1000 basic points. So without spending anything, the most you can get is 1000. However, I believe the grand total you can get is 6000 in this event, which means you get three of these chests. But more importantly, you actually get six of this chest. So uh, six of these is actually quite a bit of power, like quite a bit. So keep that in mind. Um, that's going to be pretty good for spenders. I just don't know if getting to this is going to be good or free to play. We will have to break that down later when we have more information, but you can see here, you see the normal $100 package, the 200, not even package, $200 tier. Getting to this gets you this unlocked. It gives you a three times multiplier in this event. Uh, or if you go all the way up to here, you will get a six times multiplier. And that's kind of the, the big one right here. So that's interesting though, because that's, that's pretty pricey. That's 400. You are getting a chest and the chest does say it does contain the auspicious lucky cat. So that is something to keep in mind. But that is pretty pricey. That is pretty pricey right there. Six times multiplier. Looks like the image is all, <laughs> all glitched out almost. Uh, you're also getting a million stellar shards, cores, all these other things. You are getting some prism starry gems. Uh, but yeah, I guess if it's something you want to go for, you can go crazy and get a lot of these. Or if you're a newer player or newer whale, you can get all those sublimation chests or core of origin chests you want. Now, the big struggle here is I feel like a lot of people that want to build Patricia are going to have to go for this and skip this. And that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And lastly, there are the normal value packages. So, yeah, it's an interesting week. We will break down this Starlight Melody portion to see if it's worthwhile doing here a little bit later this morning. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. It's better than this week's event at the very least. But if they don't switch the event order, Easter is going to be in four weeks, which means another wishing coin event, which means maybe better rewards. See you guys next time.